there and welcome to the reflection show with me martha and spice it's the month of love and we just want to have a conversation about how all of us can collectively put our hands or heads together to make sure that relationships are sustainable as young people we have heard so many people talk about the impact of social media facebook tiktok etc and people even take account onto what their partner posts on social media and how it even affects their relationship. You can just put something on social media and then somebody would see and say, okay, it's about me or it's about your relationship. Let's have a look at this conversation and see how we can all learn a 10 or two from that. I'm Martha Spice. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We want to look at the impact of social media on our relationships as young people, or even in marriage, how we should things we should post, things we shouldn't post, and how we can have a healthy relationship. So there was this guy who cancelled his wedding because um, his fiance, we are about to get married, posted on Twitter like many years ago, even before they met, that for her she would wish that her uh, mother-in-law is dead because she wouldn't want to have mother-in-law issues and the guy saw it i think it was a memory or whatever and the guy saw it and then got angry and cancelled the wedding because he said he's a family oriented kind of person so and the woman said that was then i'm a changed person but she has lost that beautiful relationship that almost led to marriage so the impact of social media i'll be speaking with abdul wahab osman he's a web blogger um, Kenny, you've, Kenny has been on the show many times, a youth counselor, Abdallah Yasmin, a social commentator. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, quick one, social media. Um, we're looking at the impact of social media on relationship. You are the only man, so let me start with you on this. Do you think that social media has, has an influence on our relationships? I'll say yes, mm. in, in a sense that before before social media we used to be on the lookout of letters and other stuff mm. people used to propose two letters then they have to hey. go to the person and uh, i remember I, I stole one letter from my brother just to just to also write to someone actually oh you like, copied love language to write to your girl yes oh because he wrote it and he was going to use that but now here's the case social media have brought it in a sense that mm. you can actually get it copied from someone's blog or anywhere mm -hmm. then i would say that it actually simplified the way someone can actually express his love to someone mm. it shouldn't be your words but it should be you meaning it to that particular person mm -hmm. so i think it has actually helped in that regard do you think it has influence in relationship yes mean yes it has mm. yes it has so i see um, social media to be a form of peer pressure mm -hmm. and um it's made people to to look up to people on social media and not not believe in themselves they want to be like other people mm -hmm. those they look up to on social media instead of trying to see who they are and then living yeah that kind of life mm -hmm. yes so um yeah i think it has some influence yes so hmm. social media social media came at a time just after when we the millennials were budding, we're trying to get our footing, we don't know what we're about. And now it's like the Gen Z has come and take over and everything has totally changed. Mm -hmm. So it's now you're trying to ask for your boyfriend and if you don't send him a, a Snapchat or a Facebook or a WhatsApp message, it doesn't count that you're in a relationship. It has also taken cheating to another level. Because hey. now, if you post somebody's picture on their DM, you are cheating. You try and chat on Snapchat with the person and the messages disappear. You are cheating. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it, it has opened a whole buttload of problems just from having the faster access 
to speak to somebody online. So yes, it has actually greatly influenced how relationships work. Mm. And, and, and has it decreased that intimacy uh, from relationships? I, I, I actually think that maybe social media has helped because there are times that you see that somebody has been married to a woman and the, the husband has traveled abroad and sometimes even for a whole month they haven't spoken because they say that it's expensive to make like phone to phone calls sure. but mm -hmm. now with social media you can just pick up your phone and talk to anyone in any place when i was out of the country for example for the conference i could still receive normal calls mm -hmm. just by whatsapp calls I could even video call my loved one. So even though I was out for a while, it just didn't really feel that I had traveled out so long. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the, 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 the negative effects that, have, that shows that maybe social media is, let me say, impacting relationships wrongly from the man's perspective? So, oh, uh, so let's, let's look at it from the distance mm -hmm. relationship kind of. Change something. the communication dynamics yeah. of, yeah. So, for, those days it was calls that we used to measure at uh, the, the level of intimacy we are into mm -hmm. these days you're in a long distance relationship and you either ask your partner to send you pictures or other form of things to to make you feel like mm. that particular person is with you mm. so if you look at it from that regard it's not actually a good side of it okay but looking at it from the, pos the positive perspective of long distance relationships mm. Video calls have actually come to limit the rate at which we have trust issues. Yeah. Those days, you can only do calls. Mm -hmm. the, the person you are calling can be with someone, but actually... And you don't know. And, and they are actually on the you, call you. With you just say, quiet, quiet. That's all. <laughs> but now you can, you can say, okay, we are, we are having a, a video, video call. call. Once in a while, you just surprise that person you love with a video call. Then they answer it, then you are, you are sure that... Oh, you are always safe and you are in a relationship that you can actually trust. Mm. So I would say that in as much as it comes with the bad size, I support the good side of it. But I'm so happy that WhatsApp calls can't be recorded. Hmm. No. Can, can it? Sure? it? Can. WhatsApp calls? Yes. Okay. I yes. haven't tried Yes, they that. can. They can be recorded. They can be screenshots. Okay. So uh, uh, maybe screen record, can, yes. screen record, yes. Yes. And screen record, yes. Screen record, voice. Yes. Not like, you know, on a normal phone, when you start making a call, you can just press record on the yes, screen and it records. Yes, yes. But WhatsApp doesn't have that option. Yeah. I tried on iPhone to screen screen record. WhatsApp call. WhatsApp call. And it did? It did. It did. But I didn't know did they know audio. Yes, yes. Okay. There's no audio. Okay. You can actually yeah, get it as true. a video, yes, but there's true. no audio. Yes. So that means that it's not actually... You can't... Yes, that, I remember actually. that as well. I tried, I, I tried that um, call, voice call recording. There won't be no audio. audio. So even if you try WhatsApp video, you may only be able to record the video. The video but, but you will not... But that people can still use that wrongly, especially mm -hmm. those that want to communicate with their partners naked. Naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is very dangerous yeah. that is very very dangerous yeah. Yeah. now i gave the example in my intro about the girl who wrote something on years back about what she thinks about mother-in-laws and her boyfriend found out years later do you think that our social media life should not be compared to our real life uh, uh, what, what am i even going to say whatever you are no matter how you be, how you hide it it shows sure. so there's nothing like a social media life or the real life the way you live on social media is the way you are you are living mm. in real life mm. no matter how well you be, you, you package mm. yourself mm. if you are telling me that my mother should be dead before you mm. marry me that was let's say 12 years ago yeah Maybe now I'm a changed now, person. Now, 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 oh, I was a child. Now I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. But there are certain things I don't compromise with. That's true. And you can't take the risk. Yes, I can't take the risk. That's my mother. Mm. If you are telling me that, oh, maybe at first I was marrying just for the intimacy, the companionship, no children. But now I want to have the kiss. That one I can sideline with yeah. you because it's a decision we can take together. Yeah, yeah. But me clinging to my family, they have been with me when... You, you weren't even know part them. of my yeah. life. But now you are suggesting that, oh, my mother should die so that you come and we leave. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be any happy ending to that. No matter how I compromise to keep you in my home, I will always, always have it. That will bring 
that can reduce the love. You'll be in the house and you are not even happy. Yeah. Let's just cut it off so that okay, So let me see. come to the, the women. So if your boyfriend make a post that, uh, for me, I can never have one woman in my life. Yeah. I, can, I can never have, I would always have multiple women. And you're about to get married to such a man. Would you, I think you wanted to make a, a point. You can I say it and answer make a point, this. Yeah. Um, concerning the question you asked yeah. him. So first, that is why they say, don't always um, look at people on social media and think all is um, okay good, all is great with them. And then you'd want to be like them mm. because people, people pretend to be on social media. Mm. Mm. So that's, so that's alone. You shouldn't, there are things on social media you don't even have to yeah. take serious. Mm. And again, they say whatever you post on social media, after 50 years, it's still there. Reminder. So they first yes. sent me a reminder of a video I did. Yes. And the way I was looking in that video, I was like, huh? So, so it would always be there. So to you, maybe you're just saying it. You're just being something else. But you don't know where you'll find yourself in future. So that thing you did on social media, that thing you posted on social media, you were thinking you were just having fun, you were just being fake. Yeah. But it would affect you in future. Mm. Whatever you posted on social media today would affect you tomorrow. Like, so, like the politicians, sometimes somebody would go and take something they said yes. while they were in opposition. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. that they are in power, power, they'll be doing exactly what they said they wouldn't do. Yes. Kenny? Yeah, so just a quick one to add. We've seen the trends of um, a lot of ladies who have finally made it in life, mm -hmm. but because of just one picture, yes. one video. There was a wedding in war one time that, ah, they went and dug this lady's uh, uh, sex tape. Oh, it was serious. Mm. They had spent millions of CDs on this wedding. The wedding didn't last one day. Immediately wow. the sex tape leaked. That was it. He just mm. gratefully told her, I've watched it, I've seen it. And I don't think me and you can be in the same house. So pack your things. Whatever it is I bought for you, Amelia, you pack it and go. Just go. And because of, oh, I'm young, I'm, I'm, I'm beautiful, I can't. You see this problem with tic girls and TikTok? Yeah. Any smart thing you are dancing, any mm -hmm. smart thing that <laughs> you are showing skin, forgetting mm -hmm. that somebody will look for your digital CV. Mm -hmm. That is what we undermine. The internet mm -hmm. never forgets. Mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. It never forgets. That's your digital CV now. is there. They will check every single thing you've done, down to what you type, to what you say. You say you want to be fake now. Mm -hmm. They will go and dig it and find mm -hmm. it on yes. you. Yes. So now, it, funny enough, it has come back to backbite a lot of women. Mm -hmm. You're in your husband's so, so house. So I always tell people that, I think that was, I, for me, I, I don't know why I started doing those things. I think from 2018, I became very careful of what I post. So even on my personal Facebook account, as a professional account, I'm very careful on what I post. There are lots of things I post on my WhatsApp status. I would never post on Facebook yes. because I know that WhatsApp is like friends and family and mm. and, and and like people that I just want to play with. Mm. That may not, unless somebody just wants to screenshot it against me. But even with that, I'm very careful what I post on my WhatsApp status. So five six years ago, I had to I made time and went through my Facebook to the day I created it to check if there was anything that was not appropriate. And I deleted it. Yeah. And it wasn't like very bad, but there were some comments that I think that, you know, sometimes when you are young and an issue is, is trending, oh. mm -hmm. and you also just want to comment. Yes. There were times that I said like, like one or two things that I feel that, well, if somebody see it now, it won't be so bad, but I don't know where I'm going. I said I want to be the president of Ghana one day. Someone will go and see it and use it against me. No. Yes. So sometimes oh, you can always go back to your Facebook, to your Instagram, to your TikTok. Just go and check what videos were there that you think that would not be appropriate for you. And you take it out. Now, back to the main thing, relationships. Do you think that partners should have access to each other's phones? Mm. <laughs> Why not? You. <laughs> you see the way you look. Do you think that? Oh, what do you mean by my accent? I'm looking at you. I'm asking. <laughs> yes. Do you think that no. partners should have access no. to each other's phones? Why? So pri privacy is one thing. And anytime, 
look, I don't want to hear the word privacy because people meet today, tomorrow, next week, and they are doing things that they're not supposed to do. They just met. But you feel we just met, so I can't go through your phone. That's not what we are talking about. Okay, go ahead. So, <laughs> trust, trust comes with the privacy we are looking at. Trust oh. comes with it. If I trust my wife enough, I should be able to leave my phone with her. If she trusts me enough, she should be able to leave my phone. But if she trusts me enough, what does she need my phone to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what you are looking at. Okay. If I trust her enough, she wants to play why, why should she leave her phone to go and bath and I'll take it to look through it? Mm -hmm. that, that's the insecurities that come from mistrust. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think the first thing you have to look at is how well you trust. Everyone is bound to be jealous. But don't let your jealousy move you from trusting your the person you are you are living with. Going through through her phone isn't going to solve the problem. I wouldn't have a problem if my boyfriend has to go through my phone. Look, look at I, I wouldn't I, relax. I, I I wouldn't. So why is it that men are always there are most ladies that wouldn't actually have an issue giving their phones to their yes. boyfriends. Sure. Like as compared to men, some ladies would have, but more ladies wouldn't have. So if my boyfriend should come in today and say, Oh, can I Sometimes cry, oh, you can pick my call for me. If, if, if a man wants to hide something from a lady, mm -hmm. then there's no way the lady can actually find it. They will archive it. it, it it's not, I'm not talking about only archiving. Archiving is the simplest thing you can actually do. Mm -hmm. if, if I want to hide it, I hide it in a way that there's no way that, even if you take my phone, there's no way you can actually trace it. Mm -hmm. So there's, there, I, had, I had a friend who, uh, she saw a lady, he saw a lady in my, my phone and said, oh, I want... I give the oh the guy is married, so do you know to what the he lady? Did? No, the guy is already married. You do you know okay? what the guy did? So he he saved that lady's name as my name. Ah, wait, he's <laughs> you, a, a married friend of yours sees a lady on your phone and likes the lady and start communicating with the lady. No, and, no, took the number. Took right? the number. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, so how do I store this number? Said that my wife doesn't actually know that it's a lady's number. Save this name. Said that. We can communicate when she, when hey. you, even if she <laughs> even if she gets my phone, oh, it's it's Abdel Wahab. So, but you know there are some ladies who are so smart that they will still go if 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 maybe if there's, a uh, there, there's a number saved as a mail, they will still go through that mail's number. So, so you are trying to you are trying to tell me that me saving it as a guy's name. Yes, um, I don't know that. That's so what we are looking. Let, at. So I'm so trying to let you understand. Messages? I'm trying to let you understand that mm -hmm. if he wants to hide it, mm -hmm. she will hide it. But if it will get he to wants, a point where definitely the woman will feel something. The, the, she, she will feel it, but she can't find it. Hey, that's what I'm trying to let you understand. It's, it's not about you wanting that contentment to actually find it. No. I hope you get it. It's about you, the man letting you see whatever My you want to see. My ears are sweetening me. <laughs> so it's, it's okay <laughs> for you to change the the name okay so guys actually do that you don't know mm -hmm. no you do that <laughs> they, they you're do asking that. me i don't know <laughs> don't do i don't that. know ladies please it's, it's a matter of love they, they and they are the telling us that sometimes they can even uh, 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 what's the name save a lady's name as a guy's mm -hmm. name the, the ladies do that mm -hmm. when i was so when i was actually young mm -hmm. and i was i was the only guy in the, in the house two grown sisters and a younger mm -hmm. sister and i was the only guy there are times my sister's phone will ring, I'll take it. And you can only differentiate it with the number of O's in the phone. F O O L. That's a guy. She picks, then they talk. F O O O L. That's another guy. I don't think you get it. So, so then growing up, I, I felt like if this is the way it's going to be, which word am I actually going to grow up? So, how is that lady I, I see at love going to save my number? That's true. How you get it? So we have said it. it's just a matter of you being content with whoever you are with and yeah. accept the fact that she's the one you are going to be with. Then you balance the insecurities and try to trust that person to live with her till you till, till all of you your time comes. That's what I can say because to the lady side, to the guy side, no one is to be trusted. But we just have to find the balance. Internet, social media, we are doing things. We just have to find mm. the balance. We are doing and things. And live with it. Mm. So can I also continue? Yeah, come in, come in. Yes. So mm. we have the right to have access to each other, each other's, each other's um, social media, or social phone, media so. or phone or whatever it is. 
but we don't have the right to deliberately go through their messages or information on the phone. We, ha we should have access because you don't know what, what could happen. Yeah. Yes. But again, I have realized that if a woman, or it could be man or woman, if, if a partner goes through his partner's messages, mm. goes through her phone, like constantly, then that partner has given the other um, a reason to do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Because you could give, I could feel safe with you. I know you love me. I'm the only person. But at a point in time, you could do something little and then I'll feel like, no, there's something off. But you see, a few, few weeks ago, I realized something. Mm. And I was telling a friend that you can never monitor a man or mm -hmm. a woman. Mm -hmm. You can never monitor anyone. Yes. Unless you are jobless. Are you going to monitor, is it his phone, his work? Moments. Are you going to calculate the time he leaves from the house to the work site? I, like what, you can never, never monitor anyone. Yes. So even with social media, like you said, somebody can have the chat and delete it. Yes. And even when you delete WhatsApp, mm -hmm. you will see you have deleted this message. You can delete that one again. Too. Yes. So yes. it's possible that you can never really actually see that. Mm -hmm. So now women, or let me say young people, both male and female, do you think that to have your peace of mind, your partner's social media or phone should be something you want to prioritize your attention to? No. 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 Okay. no. Yes. If so you want your peace of that. mind, yes. Yeah. Can you? Well, what, what you don't know to, to doesn't hurt. Okay, because yeah, yes. this one, to, honestly speaking, ignorance yeah. now be so. If you don't know, mm -hmm. just don't know. Yes. Okay. Now think about the fact that your partner is very attractive mm. or extremely beautiful. Mm. You know what this species can do Which on that species? comment section, baby. Which your species? breath alone. Which kind of species? So, I be the species know who I'm talking. About. <laughs> yeah, the there. species know the people I'm talking uh, about. Fear, fear, fear this gender. Maybe I want to eat you and eat you and digest you on top, <laughs> all under these DMs. And because of you are the, jealous, you go and see. Oh, it. you would see this, and out of courtesy, a lot of people kind of also have respect. But it's true. Media. Imagine I go on my boyfriend's Facebook or Instagram, I'm seeing fine guy, handsome guy, beard gang, like those kind of things. Charlie, mm -hmm. I don't think I can handle that. Though it's, it's, going, to, it's going to make you insecure. You will overthink it. You would start even imagine castles in the the imagination will yes. be on another level. Yes, that is why some people they prefer to make their relationship secrets. Now, there's this thing about Gen Z's I, I absolutely hate. I remember I was talking about it. They prefer to chat on Snapchat. Yes. This Snapchat app, you say you love me. Mm -hmm. I'm not on Snapchat. But there is no, thank God. Please don't <laughs> be there. I'm not on Snapchat. Don't be there. You are too grown for that. <laughs> mm. This Snapchat app would conveniently disappear your messages after 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Now, WhatsApp yeah. has also done that. WhatsApp and Instagram, they mm -hmm. have what they call They're vanishing mood. Me a message. That's, they have a timer. Yes. The number of hours the messages can yes mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, yeah. i think yeah. i said yeah. it mm -hmm. the disappearing message no, no i think i think you have to set it yeah with a, yes. with a whatsapp whatsapp yes. you have yes. to set it thank okay. god that one if i now see that my partner has purposely set a timer i know there's something oh. he has an agenda yep mm -hmm. i'm not if your you partner no sorry so no let me <laughs> no because usually <laughs> when i'm chatting with people and i see that disappearing oh, messages no. i feel i feel they have an agenda yes so i'm very careful about what I I, 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 say. I say or I type there. Yes, especially married men. Mm -hmm. I've also mm -hmm. noticed, I mm -hmm. went through my own contact list and I noticed it's mostly the married men mm -hmm. that have that time at yes. yes. And then the first message you will see is, hello, beautiful. Me, I know your, I know your agenda. I know definitely if your wife goes through your phone. So the disappearing messages, is it only their own that will disappear? Or no, your all. Disappear, disappear on this and then thing. yours. So, so you go back to your chat videos, and then you wouldn't see anything. Pictures, videos, audio. It's nothing. true. Yes. Everything will work. Yeah, I think. Yes. Unless if you, are, if you are fast enough or smart enough, it's you could screenshot and the messages save. and save it on your phone before uh -huh. it disappears. But seriously, I wonder why people do that. Even on group chat. I don't know why people would do that sentence. I don't understand. I think I, I, have, to, I, so, I have to take mm -hmm. note of that disappearing mm -hmm. It thing. immediately mm -hmm. makes you feel insecure. You know, what I, I was chatting with one married man. We started chatting and then I all of a sudden saw disappearing messages. 
And then I asked, I was like, so why disappearing messages? And the excuse was, oh, um, his phone usually gets full. So he puts, um, his messages are on disappearing. So the, when the, message disap the messages disappear, he gets space on his phone. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. okay. Sometimes it's just better to okay. act ignorant. Yes. Yes. Mm. So you can buy yourself peace of mind. Yes. If not, every other day his heart attack. That's okay. why they say you'll be the chill. one suffering, and then they'll be there. They'll be there chilling ah. and having fun. Your pressure will be high, and then they'll be there having their fun because social of media. Hey. Yes. 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 messages. Yes. <laughs> Let me come to you. So, so <laughs> with with that. With that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> like you will have spoken now. Uh, I should have added one more to him. It's like yeah, no, he, spoke, he spoke more than us, though. Yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead. For, for disappearing messages, I, I don't like it myself. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't actually like it. But there's nothing. I will, there's, there's nothing to hide. So for me, when I'm chatting with someone, that person brings shows it. Then I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with that. But now let's let you you ask something about social media whether your partner mm -hmm. should have I, so social media is different from let's let's I want to differentiate it from our WhatsApp and other stuff. Mm -hmm. No, but WhatsApp is so part of social yeah. media. Mm -hmm. What I want to see, I want to look Instagram up, and TikTok. Instagram. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, my my brother's wife was telling me that he signed up to TikTok. That's I'm going to tell her husband. TikTok is something I don't like. That thing crowd will come to it. Finish your point. I'll be getting. So, whatever you post there is you. Yes. Whatever you post there is who you actually are. So, so if I come and see you that you are posting yourself there, meanwhile we are together. Ah, why? Are you advertising yourself? Thank you. The no, woman, wait. I, I don't get that thing. Why you, why you say posting yourself there? So let's, go we to, are together. Let's, go, let's go to Facebook. You are already engaged. Then you come and post yourself and say, okay, woke up with... A, a, a what smile on my face what a beautiful morning with your picture over there i, I don't know if you are getting my point I, i'm getting your point but i'm not agreeing with your Take point it. so let me you are saying point. that it is wrong for a girl who is engaged it's not only a girl i'm or, talking to the both parties no but i can the fact that i'm engaged or have a boyfriend doesn't mean that i cannot post a picture and say woke up with a beautiful so, smile so now so now uh -huh. your, your 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 man is also on facebook Mm -hmm. The man chances on it, mm -hmm. and there are other guys who are commenting, mm -hmm. and those guys will definitely be in your DM. So who is inviting them? Exactly. Wait, <laughs> wait. There is nothing wrong with that. But who is inviting? You them? should be mature enough. Do you know that there are people who are not even on social media, but they get a lot of guys approaching them on a normal day that somebody on Facebook. Yes. Somebody can just see and just like or oh, comment. I will never enter your DM. Those who enter your DMs are the Indians and the Chinese. And then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on you. So, are you yes. trying to say that mm -hmm. no woman, okay, so engaged. your partner should post a picture on social media? So, so if you are posting a picture about mm -hmm. yourself, yes, do it as if you are. So, let's take it that we are we are here with Martha here today. Mm -hmm. She has done works that she's actually proud of, yes. She goes to her Facebook wall, yes, and she writes about those who work, mm -hmm. then add her picture to it, yes. That's what she's writing about. somebody can leave their post and like my, my me in the yes picture. i know so so as 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 your partner i come to look at it then i know that yes she's I don't that's no, for what, no, let, no, let me, no 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 that one means that me your partner point. needs to be a bit mature to understand yes, those things yes because me like for example mm. I, I i i want to post a picture of maybe my hair and makeup is by this person my dress my shoes i want to post to stand there if a man comes to my dm i should be able to tell the man that oh no or yes you get it mm. it's about how i handle it mm -hmm. and how my partner handles it mm -hmm. but if it is just because i just post a picture and say like there are times that sometimes a girl will put a picture and be like oh how do i look and yes. if you go and say oh you look good like it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean you are cheating on the man no. or anything you know it's what, immature no. partners who can't handle no, i don't that, want that, to use that, that word thank, thank you very much exactly you very much. that's not I, I'll let's take a break, then we'll relax and come back on this point. Okay. Let's take a break, then I'll be right back. Books by Pastor A. L. Fant. They are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Simple to comprehend, relevant in application, and so lovely to read. 
Grab copies like Dynamics of Kingdom Influence, Dynamics of Ministry, Mark is King for Church Workers, Money Matters, and she calls herself a woman. This marriage must work. No more curses. Loaded mouth. Secrets of kingdom dominion. The exploits of service. Things fall apart. Church without bleeding pulpit. Singles mingle and many more. Welcome back. Um, in fact, we are just talking. I'm, I'm even deviating from the questions I plan to ask them. But make your point on that. We okay. are not trying to attack you because you are the only man. Okay. But so, make your point. You said behind the scenes that we didn't give you time to make your point. So now make your point. So now the the, the guys or a, a lady mm -hmm. should know how she he or she will construct a post if he or she doesn't want to invite mm -hmm. any anyone to him or herself okay that's my point okay yes and she was talking about how someone can hide him or herself i watched a movie an indian movie that was last two days and it was about a guy who lived 20 years of his life mm -hmm. a different life mm -hmm. changed then he planned everything said that when life came crashing on him when they piece out the dust together, no one is actually going to find out. Mm -hmm. If you watch it from the start to the end, mm -hmm. you actually believe that the guy is actually the real person. Mm -hmm. Until the last scene to the end of the movie, that's when you are going to realize that the guy is actually the one they are referring him to 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's just about when you want to hide it, you can hide it. Mm -hmm. Let's just find a way to find trust in our relationships mm. in this era of social media okay kenny yes so i actually wanted to help him on that aspect because we have seen the way tiktok has become tiktok has become in such a way that a lot of women are showing their bodies indiscriminately because they want to follow a challenge you thinking in your mind that oh you're following the challenge because you want to be popular or you just, you're just releasing stress forgetting that that video can be used against you. Hmm. So now the question is the invitation. They look, no matter how much you try, there's a way you can filter. Mm -hmm. Because even me on my TikTok page, I have pictures of me doing that. But then immediately I realized that now nah, I'm entering a stage into my life where I want to be an inspiration to people. I want to impact like what you're doing. I changed my content. Mm -hmm. So I only post content where I am talking to people or I am addressing people, or even if it is me, I am doing something that is showing what i am doing yeah. that way the message is very direct mm. it cannot be misinterpreted mm -hmm. unless there's something wrong with you mm -hmm. yeah yes me anything to add up on that argument i'm just taking my time to okay now we've we've left that arena we kind of understand what like those conversations were all about but you see do you think that they have been so much pressure on the woman on what to do in relationships like what you said, your brother's wife tells you that I'm now on TikTok. And the first thing you say is, I'm going to tell my brother because you don't like it. Let's come to culture. Let's come to religion. Do you think that there are people that have even asked their wives that as soon as they get married, they should leave social media. But they are still on social media. Okay. Mm, Do you so think that we have social media abuse? So can I... Come in, yes, me. Okay, so with this question, I would say... It also de um, depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. So if, if I'm the type that I easily get pressured by things, I easily get influenced by things, uh, because you are doing this, so I feel I have to do it, then mm -hmm. social media will influence me, both negative and positive. Mm -hmm. And mostly social media is more of neg negativity than positivity. Yeah. So if you are a strong woman we are talking in the woman aspect mm -hmm. right if you're a strong woman if you know what you want if you know where you are headed to nothing you see on social media the negative part would affect you mm. you would only pick the positive part, mm. part and then leave the negative part okay. and if you're a strong woman you if 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 you are your own woman 
the man who would come or approach you would know the kind of woman you are mm. so he can't come and say if i marry you or when i marry you you don't have to use social media mm -hmm. no i was using social media yeah, before, before you, you met, met me. me so how you met me is how i'm going to be you can't control me because you controlling me is going to make me an unhappy person i'm mm. not going to be me and that shouldn't that shouldn't be it mm. exactly yes mm. yeah so when I was still in the university, my sister was in senior high school. So anytime I come back, she's like, my friends are doing that. My friends. Actually, one day I had plans of changing a new phone mm. so that I would give my phone to her because that time she was still using it young. Mm. I didn't tell her about my intention, but I had the plans of. So one day she just told me that my friends are using the phones and they are, they are using smartphones. And, and I was very angry. As, what i don't like about it is do it because you need it do it because you actually need it to do something not because someone is doing yes it. Mm. that's the problem i have with most ladies mm. yeah they are not they are not doing it because they want it in their life mm. they are doing it because someone else is actually using it for that like and it, they want to get they, it. they craze for iphone I, 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 I hope you get it yeah. they, it's not that they need it but their friends are using it because they also want to use it that's where the reason why i want to limit some of these things and you know sometimes they, they, the problem sorry no, let, let him finish they, they, they go in there and because if someone is eaten up by my friends are doing it to the extent that they do anything that their friends are doing irrespective just to of get what, it yes how we get that mm -hmm. so that's my where i come in mm -hmm. okay i don't like tiktok and when she goes there she might begin to add that because they are She's the only one now having an iPhone in the house. Then I think she have a conversation probably uh, on the do's and yeah. do's. And when, when she comes to the house, oh, Nyama, that's see, see what is happening. She, like, she wants to show everybody what is happening on TikTok. How we get it? People are dancing and she, she also feel like, okay, today let me also. Mm -hmm. You are a married woman. She might not know the ethics of that. Mm -hmm. Then she begins to do. That's where my limitation mm. as to the type of social media you are supposed to use will come mm. in if you are going to use it then the content you even post there mm -hmm. should be monitored yeah for both parties not yeah. only you yeah both of us that's yeah. what I'm i think saying. now i agree with you because for me mm -hmm. on my tiktok what i actually post is just work yeah that's it i don't post i've never posted it just work i think it just once i posted there's this telling one of my friends um uh, um, like made me do she does nails so when i went to fix my nails i said let me just do something for her and there was this voice over she put on the video for me you know I, for a long time i didn't even know how to use a sound oh, okay. like to use the sound then someone taught me so she used this one um that says that oh how my nails are fine that, no i have to go and do my nails uh, because maybe somebody can propose to me so, like, like there is a sound like that so you just show your nails and try to advertise the person who did it for you and be like oh let me go and do mine like just those things but most time when i post is is it's business like like mm -hmm. what kenny said people mm -hmm. should know what you are made of mm -hmm. yes so, okay let, let, let me take me. yes me and i'll come I just to, you. Want okay. to, add up to the tiktok so i i i'm not on tiktok mm -hmm. so one day we went for some modeling something and there was a tick there was one of the 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 greatest TikTok mm. uh, person there, I mean, in Tamale. Yeah. So she was doing a video, me, I didn't know. I'm not on TikTok. Yeah. So that was the first time I met, oh, I just came and said, oh, let me move myself a bit. Mm. Ah, I appeared in the video some two days later, and there someone sent me a leg. I should go and watch. Ah, I watched the video now. Person did the video inside. Another time, someone, someone sent me the video. Someone said, I said, ah, I said, oh, for that lady there, almost everyone knows her. She was even the one who, who did this and did that and did that. And I was like, hey. And you and appeared in her video? I appeared in the video. When I said to take the lady, she said, oh, she didn't even appear. Uh, uh, she, didn't, she didn't force me to appear in there, so I have to find my way around it. Wait, so was it like you were doing it and your face was showing, or it was like a passerby? She, so, so she was doing it and I just, oh, I thought she was taking a normal video. I just came and did this way. 
Then mm. I moved back and I moved away. Then she continued. Then that so, one, you gave her consent. You can't sue her. Yes. Funny so, enough, so, you gave so, un, um, um, is it like unconscious yeah. consent? consent. So, yes. so that was it. So TikTok dear. Mm. You fear TikTok. Like yeah, so so right now with this with um, these um, Gen Zs, if they don't get the right guidance, that is when they 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 do things because mm. their other people are doing it. Mm. But the moment the, the the child or the young person gets some good guidance, someone to be there to guide them, mm. then they are able to know that no, this is my worth. Mm. It's not because this person or those people are doing this or have this, so I need to have it. Mm. But if they don't get someone, because there are some people, there are some young ones who are very smart and they know they know their worth already naturally. They are strong. Mm. They know their worth. So it's not because you are doing this or you, are, you have this. Mm. So I have to have it. Mm. But there are some who are not fortunate enough mm. to be like that naturally, mm. like mm. natural. So they need someone to guide them. You know, the fact that people are using iPhones doesn't mean you need it. Yeah. The fact that people are showing off on TikTok doesn't and Snapchat mean. doesn't mean you have to do it. Know your worth. You are beautiful. You are smart. This is what you want to be in future. This is what you want to do. So focus on it. Mm. Some people or some young ones need that. Mm. Some don't. They can survive on their own mm -hmm. and then make it. Mm. Yes. Mm. Now, the high, high of relationships and social media and all that. Now, let's come to pathways. Mm. I may not actually take but your phone. So right now, if my phone falls, maybe an accident or something, how many people might even remember that they, they need to just put my fingerprint on it to open it? Do you think your partner needs to have your, your phone password? Yes. Let me start with you. Let me come to him. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can confidently give your phone password to your partner. Yeah, yeah. she has to ask for permission before she uses it. She has to ask for permission. Yeah. Uh, yes, oh, so, so she doesn't even have to ask you. You should give it to her willingly. No. It should be mutual because please before get, she uses their get, phone. Please get <clears throat> the permission part right. Okay. We are married. She has the password already. Mm -hmm. But I shouldn't I shouldn't put my phone down, then come and she's holding my phone. Mm -hmm. So I if don't maybe know if she wants point. to use your phone to oh, make please, a phone. I just want to use your phone, then she can use it. So when you're in the bathroom and she's in the living room, she oh. can just say, Okay. Oh, that's what anyway, I'm, that's it's the understandable part I'm talking about. Yes, it's understandable. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I watched I, I watched a very funny video. The guy was in the bathroom and then um, he he came when he came the girl was sleeping and he touched the phone. They said that, that, that try again in <laughs> twenty how many years? <laughs> <laughs> she has blocked it. <laughs> you know, yeah. if you if you press like try the password, it will keep locking yeah. ahead. Now try it in twenty something years. I said, Hey, but this this one they just went buy a new phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I want to give a personal experience of what mm. I had. So, because for me, I don't believe that, yes, I will give you my password. But the problem was, I didn't just give him my password. I gave him my Momo password too. Hmm. Only for me to sleep and wake up. And dude has transferred money from my account to his own. Without my permission. Mobile money. Yes. Telling you. It was shocking me. I'm there and I noticed there is a disruption. So not knowing when the message came, he deleted the message. Hmm. Because he has access to my phone. And funny enough, I used it to set a trap for him. Because I was like, no, I have never had a man like this before in my life. What at all will I do? Or what have I done? For you to mistrust me mm -hmm. to the extent that you even steal money from me. And you make more money than me. He didn't make any sense to me. Just because he knows your password. I don't even so know. So you wouldn't do that again? Give ah, your boyfriend no, no, your no. password? No, no, I can give you my password. Because still, but, but not the Momo pin. Yeah, I think the Momo pin is a reason mm -hmm, why they mm -hmm. make sure they mm -hmm. insist. Because mm -hmm. you don't know the heart of man. Yes. Whether male or even my children mm -hmm. said, for my phone pin, yeah, they know. Because there can be a time when maybe if I'm having an attack and Lydia is there. So mm. Lydia can pick up my phone, open my password, go to my call and call an emergency number. Yes. Same with my, my partner or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. For that one, it's okay. But bank passwords, mm -hmm. Momo pin, there are some specific passwords you can't give. Unless you've listed that person as your next of kin. 
and that is even in a case of death yeah. or an extreme situation. The next of kin, no, these days they are having two. No, I was using my younger sister as my next of kin. Then she was like, anything, but she'd be like, I'm your next of kin. I said, please, next of kin, you push and relax. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not dying anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. I'm not dying anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I get that point. Okay. And I think we all need to be very careful because you would never be able to trust someone fully. Yes. So somebody can know your um, ATM pin and take all your money. By the time you call these banks to report for them to block it, it's your money late. is finished. It's gone. So as for that one, hmm. Unless, hey, unless, if I'll, I'll make sure, make sure that, that you have an account that the money that if they even clear or cry to give you a heart attack, mm -hmm. they can <laughs> use that money for like, you know, some people can have two or three bank accounts. Yes, yes. yes. And maybe one of them, I have this like 2,000 or maybe at most 5,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That one, you can give the pin to someone. If I'm dying and you want to deposit something, they should deposit that one to revive me. Yes. But you see, it's sometimes it's here that they may want to a deposit before they can treat you. But yeah. some places, they want to revive you even before they even think about money. Because they value yeah. life more than money. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to, and when somebody trusts you to the extent that they give you their pain, I think you should also reciprocate by respecting that bond, yes. that yes. relationship. You don't yeah. have to take advantage of it. I used to know someone whose younger brother knew her bank pain. He would take it today. You just be there and she'll see her let. Then you will call the brother. So she so just went one day and the brother just left the eight. He just took it. That's even family. That's even family. And that time she had put to bed and she was in the house. So sometimes she can say, Oh, if you are in town, just pick this money and buy these groceries for us. Oh, and the guy will take girls out. Use their sister's ATM. <laughs> hey, wow. <laughs> and be chilling yeah. with girls. That's so that is really so very difficult about this pin and then all of that. Now let's look at pictures, displaying your, your partner, maybe posting your partner on social media. Is this something you would want to do? Do you think somebody will snatch? So, so me, I, I look at it from the perspective that if she's my partner, then we are together. Mm -hmm. I, sh I should have the freedom to actually post it so that everyone mm -hmm. in the world will know that she's the one I'm, a, I'm actually with yeah. yeah so that when someone confronts me oh that's also my then we know that okay yes we are not in the game alone then we know how to play your cards mm -hmm. how we get that mm -hmm. yeah. it's not actually a problem posting posting my partner mm -hmm. and i want my partner to actually post me too that's what i can share about that yes man okay so when it comes to social media Personally, I'm a private person. I like to hide myself, not mm -hmm. because I would do I do I do bad things or anything. I'm just a private person, but I wouldn't mind posting my partner. Mm -hmm. If once in a while I should post pictures, I would want to post pictures, and I have some pictures with my partner. Why not? So far as I know, I'm not doing anything bad. Mm. Yeah, Kenny, would you yeah, want to post so, your partner? Yeah, for me, I would actually. I would not birthdays, not Valentine's Day. No, like just, just um, thank randomly. you for loving me. Thank you for being part of my life. It would you would immediately know that that person is my partner. But there's also hmm, hmm, there's also a lot of comments. Isn't that do you fear that somebody will snatch? Do you fear that ah. it's going to open up uh, um, the wi the windows or the door for petty gossips and petty com? Yes, it, it, it will. It will. So, so if, you, if you know you don't have the hearts for all those things, then don't post it. Don't post. But if you Especially, know you have the heart too, mm -hmm. then you can go ahead. Yeah, because mm -hmm. of your standing and who you are. Yes. So people like um, Nana Mahmoud Brown, I mm -hmm. mean, everybody is aware of everything because yeah. of social media. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are fighting today. They are on good terms today. But sometimes like those, those, those things are lies. Yes. So things, see, yes. But now the problem is they are feeding us that information. No. Me, for me, I don't know about you, but maybe because I am also in this space, you will hardly see me believing what I see here about celebrities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you come at and say that this celebrity is dating this person. Yeah. Oh, I've had boyfriends I don't know about. Uh -huh. Like what I say, boyfriend. Yeah, sometimes you hear that. Oh, I, um, I, I heard you are dating this person. I'm like, ah, me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Ah, me. Yes, I've had <laughs> boyfriends <laughs> I don't know about. Or they will see you out with. A guy today, tomorrow, 
Look, the person everybody thought I was it was my friend Jonathan, our friend Jonathan. Yeah, babes, I was yeah. like, this crazy guy. Be like, hey, because everybody would always think that because yes. you are friends. So mm -hmm. a time came, I really stopped going out. Yeah, yeah. Because you go out, you are going to be in that squad. Yes. We have a, a circle of friends who are mostly guys and ladies. And because they feel that maybe um his house and my house are closer so basically i'll go to his house come to his so people would think that you are dating so you just stop those things so in that space somebody last year someone told me and said oh why is my car you are riding moto now they heard i bought a very big car mm -mm. me when, no. when did i Amen. buy a car so it. there are times that i hear something about myself and i'm like me you hear it i'm pushing that oh this girl she's rude i'm like are you sure so the essence that I remember my friend Jonathan called me one time and was saying that people have said, and the people that she mentioned, I don't know them. He described and described. I went to check them on Facebook. I, I, don't, I can't remember ever seeing them. But they said that they have interacted with me before and I was hostile towards them. So when you are in the limelight, we also have bad days. And someone said that one time they were in a restaurant and I walked in here, I didn't even greet them. A restaurant is table by table. If you are near me, I can just say hello. But I can't see if you far away and walk to you. So people, look, people will say things that you have not done, you have not heard, and you don't know. So there is no day I will hear something about Nang Ma Brown, or Henry Gitsi Auntie, uh, uh, Anita, Bella, Nah Shoko, and those when I'll just believe. Because there's always, people say that, uh, with every uh, rumor, there's a bit of truth, truth in, it. in it. Sometimes there's no truth in it. You know, people like to assume. Yes. And now That's the with, assumption. Yes. And now with social media, there are some people who want That's to their feel. Job. They want oh. to feel. They want to feel good, and by Bongo. feeling good, they want to be the first to to Break convey a message. Mm -hmm. So whatever message they, they can they can create, yes. they can come up with, they will do that. I mean, that's what affected him later. Bongo, you will just be there. Albert will just sit Please, down. Don't, don't, don't mention his name here. <laughs> I don't even want to bet. Before, <laughs> before you go and insult me on social media, I don't have the heart. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder the comments he passes, like he used to insult people. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they handle it. Because if that guy should insult me, I don't think I can sleep that night. <laughs> we don't have much of time. Let me start with you, like your final words. On everything we have discussed, social media, relationship, everything, everything we've discussed. It's a long day. Now you are calm. Yeah. Okay, let, should I go to ask me? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'll say <clears throat> social media is a great space. You just have to use it well. Mm -hmm. To WhatsApp, we have WhatsApp status. And sometimes I have problems with how people use it. <clears throat> In a sense that <clears throat> One day, a friend of mine was posting, I'm down, I'm this, like some sort of full vibe. So I messaged and it was like, oh, it's my status, so I'm just, I'm just joking. Really? So, so, so I said it. So when it's serious, nobody would actually. Yeah, so I actually, that was just the same thing I told, I told him. We are in a space whereby the status is used to determine how we are. We, you can have someone's contact for years, but you're not chat, but you review you, the person's yeah. status. You got to know whether the person is down or not. So find a way to define how you use your social media. Either it's going to help you build yourself, it's going to help you build anything. It should be a place whereby when they look at it, they actually know who you are. Hmm. I have videos on my phone that I can post on my WhatsApp status. Hmm. I just look at it and I laugh at it. Because when I put it out there, people will actually question. Are you the one who is actually with the Posting. phone at the moment? Yeah, that's true. That's that's a big And there are some memes that, sometimes it's just funny. You want to post, but it people assume it in a, to, in yeah. a different way. It's it's a digital ID you have kept out there. Try to maintain it. Mm. Even in your relationship life, just try to find a way to make sure that there's nothing that is going to trace up to break that relationship mm. you are actually building. Mm. Me <laughs> I don't know if I should say this. I've, I've actually received so many bounces. I hope you know bounce. Mm. So, you propose to leave the lady say no. Oh, they've bounced you, you plenty. I, I've plenty. And my friends of mine tell me that 
if they are going to compile the list of those who have come who have received bounds i'll, I'll be the top boost <laughs> and me i don't i don't actually care wherever i do it mm. if i do it on whatsapp if i screenshot it and doing it i know that it's me and i'm proud of whatever mm. i'm writing so mm. effective of whatever we write or we share in a relationship mm. make sure that when it gets out there mm. you'll be proud of whatever or whoever yeah. is reading it yeah that's what i have to say okay yes man okay so i would say um <laughs> specific times out can have huge impact mm. because um sometimes we unconsciously get attached to our devices in quote social media mm. so if we are able to make conscious efforts when we are with our loved ones when, when we are with our partners to at least have that quality time, that face-to-face -face time communication, rather than um, getting attached to our phones, it could it could help us. Mm. Because sometimes, like, let's say when you wake up in the morning, first thing once I you open your phone. eyes, what's the first thing my you do? My phone. Yes, you could be lying by your partner, and then once you open your eyes, it's your phone you are taking. At least you could just get close to your partner, give him or her a kiss or something, or try to talk to them. That's a conscious effort. Mm. Yeah. Can you find our words? We okay. are really so, behind time. I think with everything that we have spoken, there needs to be an education mm. among ghosts. Even with the, the Gen Z's, I don't want to say they are a lost cause, but the rate at which they are going, they are getting to that very soon. I don't even know who brought this term Gen Z's. Gen Z's. I, I just started like hearing it. People. It was recently I even got to know their meaning. You know. <laughs> they, they, they say they have, they, mil, they have older generation. They have millennials, they have Gen Z's, then they have Gen X. So what's the so meaning of the Gen Z? The Gen Z is worse. <laughs> but what does it mean? I don't know. I'm also going to... There's, is it a Zen generation? The generation sure? that has an opinion on everything. They want yeah. to talk about everything. They want to video everything. I wonder what will happen when we start having kids. <laughs> yeah, Gen X. They yeah, Gen X. Yeah, the ones that maybe they are no. born now. They, they know computer. My child will not be X. Thank you. My child will be Gen, Gen A. <laughs> A1 everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for coming. It's been yeah. an amazing conversation. It's still the month of love, and then uh, we are um, just encouraging you to understand that you can share love to your friends and family. And also, discuss with your partner if they would want you to touch their phones, and social media can have its good side and bad side don't just focus on um fighting with your partner saving boys names are girls names or girls names as boys names <laughs> <laughs> and cheating on each other and all of that no let's have a healthy relationship and of course the matter is spice foundation we are still calling on partners to support us in our reading clinic and also calling out for donations we still need donations amounts of love and we are spreading love everywhere do support us thank you so much for watching a matter inspired see you same time next week bye bye for now